Ceftriaxone, brand name Rocephin, is a third-generation cephalosporin and beta-lactam antibiotic that inhibits cell wall synthesis in susceptible bacteria. Ceftriaxone has activity versus gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria, but lacks any substantial activity against anaerobic bacteria. Talking about mechanism of action. This medication works by targeting bacterial penicillin binding proteins, which interferes with transpeptidation reaction during cell wall synthesis. This result in an osmotically unstable cell wall. The reaction causes cell lysis and finally cell death of susceptible bacteria. Ceftriaxone is used for infections like community-acquired pneumonia, bacterial meningitis, and otitis media caused by certain bacteria. Commonly used in combination with azithromycin for community-acquired pneumonia which require hospitalization. Ceftriaxone also combined with ampicillin for treatment of enterococcal infective endocarditis. If we discuss about dosing of ceftriaxone, it has a long half-life, so typically dosed once daily in adults, but in more severe infections, for example in meningitis, may require twice daily dosing. Usual adults' doses are 1 gram to 2 gram daily, or 2 gram twice a day. In recent years, there have been pushes for higher doses. Ceftriaxone can be given by intravenous push or intramuscularly. The intramuscular shots are sometimes mixed with lidocaine to reduce pain. No dose adjustments are needed for renal or hepatic dysfunction. But it is recommend not to exceed a dose of 2 gram per day with concurrent renal and hepatic dysfunction. Adverse effects to watch for. Because ceftriaxone is secreted in the bile, there's a risk for pseudocolithiasis and pancreatitis. This drug also interferes with vitamin K metabolism, leading to increased INR and thus bleeding risk. Hypersensitivity reaction can also occur. Do not administer an IV line along with calcium. Because this can cause potentially fatal precipitates to form in lungs and kidneys, which ultimately leads to death. Ceftriaxone also have some contraindications. Ceftriaxone should not be used with aminoglycosides because it may increase nephrotoxicity. This drug is also contraindicated with intravenous calcium salts, intravenous ringers lactate, and vitamin K antagonists like warfarin. Ceftriaxone is also not recommended for use in hyperbilirubinemic neonates and in children less than 28 days old. So, that's all about pharmacology of ceftriaxone. Hope you like this video. For more antibiotics clinical pearls, keep sharing and keep supporting us. Thank you.